Stevie Ray Vaughan is a very famous blues guitarist. SRV was even called the blues god. SRV has dark childhood memories, due to being abused by his father, a veteran who became an alcoholic. It was August 27, 1990, after a performance with Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble at the Alpine Music Valley Theater, in rural East Troy, Wisconsin, USA, the helicopter that the SRV was traveling on crashed into a mountain slope due to thick fog. New media broke the news of SRV's death later that afternoon. He was then buried in a cemetery in Dallas, Texas on August 31, 1990. His funeral was attended by around 3,000 people, including fellow musicians such as Buddy Guy, Stevie Wonder, Jeff Healy, ZZ Top, Colin James, Charlie Sexton, Bonnie Raitt, and Jackson Brown. His musical career can be said to be short but memorable because his talent for playing the guitar has made him one of the world's best musicians. His career ended when he was involved in a helicopter crash on August 27, 1990. He and Eric Clapton's tour crew boarded a helicopter bound for Midway International Airport after completing a performance at the Alpine Valley Music Theater. He was scheduled to return to Chicago, but Stephen decided to return to Chicago sooner. The helicopter he was in unfortunately crashed shortly after taking off. This accident killed all aboard including Vaughn himself. The fate of Stevie Ray Vaughn was really unfortunate, never mind the guitar god's childhood was full of violence, when he grew up he had to struggle with addiction, then when he died he died horribly due to an accident. Even though his career was short and his death tragic, moreover he died 36 days before his 36th birthday, guitarist Stevie Ray Vaughan's profile is still remembered as one of the most famous musicians in the United States.